everybody. How y'all doing? Are you hey okay? In your neck of the When we dry them up, too cool. Now go too deep, you know. Yeah, yeah, fair watch Joe, you know. Our troops, see that? Apple cider vinegar and our troops. Come up at right, make them get saturated in the gravy and all of that. On today's episode of the Jamaican Cooking Journey, I'll be preparing some chicken food soup. Special thanks to my patrons that have been making my Patreon page possible. If you would like to become a member of my Patreon, just check in the description of this and all my other videos and lives, there will be the link. Thank you. So, did I say chicken food soup, Dad? Mm. Yes. Chicken soup. The pure chicken, not chicken food. Yeah, would well, I love some full food soup, you know. But I've been making some pure chicken. Now I have two leg and thighs. I've separated the legs on the drumstick from the thighs. And I have cleaned, I have removed the skin. And I like that. I've done all of that off camera. And I think, maybe not some people don't know. Maybe I should have shown them how easy it is to remove the skin. Okay, I trimmed most of the fat. Some people might do that one scrape on it, but I left a little, you know, not any fat. Just I just clean, trim to how I would like it. So I have here, this is gonna be my meat. You could use boneless, you could use bone in. But for chicken soup, me think me like my soup, my chicken with a little bone. Now I have here some pumpkin and some carrots. I'm cut. I've cut them like this. Well, I'm gonna be starting this soup. I'm gonna leave them to boil. I'm gonna leave them to boil just like that and I might just add a little more water get my flame up mm -hmm. start it almost to eye yeah hope you're watching chicken soup chicken soup just a little different way put in a little salt not much also I'll be smashing a few pegs of fresh garlic mm? yeah Smashing about three. I'll be using about three pegs of fresh garlic. So it's easiest peel for me for garlic is to use something flat and smash. No, I think a lot of people guilty. I try not to be guilty of this. When you smash the garlic and you remove the peel, you just put it in the pot. Are you one of those people that as you remove the trash from the garlic, you just put it in your pot? Daddy, if he says some people guilty, I'd have a little something in it. I think so. Mm. Mm -hmm. Nothing wrong, cause, but I will implore you, when you smash it from the trash, just give it a little rinse. These parts with the trash, hand hold them up. Mm? If you're guilty of it, that the truth. That the truth. You know, say me real and all away mm -hmm. like that. If you're guilty of it, just say Debbie, I'm guilty. But me not gonna do it again. I try my best not to be guilty of this. So that is how we're starting off our chicken soup. I'm not gonna put no bag of stuff in it. I'm not gonna put no chocha and no turnip. I'm just gonna make some nice chicken foot soup. Some why am I talking about chicken food? Them said chicken foot for me. Chicken soup. No, I have some corn. Gonna put a few really you know, a few reasonable pieces of corn you see the pot so you know not enough and enough soup also i for if i am not using potatoes i may use some penis dumpling i've got potatoes right here not sure if i want to use potatoes or dumplings but i don't think i want potatoes and dumplings i just want to get some nice chicken soup some nice some mild tasting chicken soup and the two little pieces of meat with a little bone in there a peanuts are two and some corn so i might just use the peanuts and leave the potatoes also we we'll leave that to cook and whilst that is cooking what we can do right here i'll be seasoning this with a little salt not a lot you know we're gonna put a little noodle that little jamaica and something there this is a trad wow our noodle that we put in our soup it's traditional so for people who you know we don't want to go too much might wonder why it is just a tradition in our Homeland, okay. A little 
salt and a little black pepper. We don't want to season it too heavy. Hmm? Yeah. Because so we are leaving it right there. So when that is cooked, we will move on to the next step. We'll come right back and we'll in, and we'll invite you to tug along as I make this a different type of chicken soup today in Debbie's kitchen. So you just want to season it, leave it to pat like this, cover it with what you want. I have a chin towel here, I just cover it. If you where you are, the weather is cold, no need to put it in the refrigerator. This is still cold, you know, so I leave it right there. I'll catch you in the next clip. Right back at your cooking family. Now this is my pumpkin and carrot that I left to cook. And you know that the pumpkin will be more softer than the carrots. So I have it here. What I'm going to do, I'm going to puree it out in the blender. Right here, I got me a little olive oil. And you can use where you want to use. And I'm going to be browning off these chicken pieces. Just to get a little color. Yeah. So if you want to put your chicken in smaller pieces, you can go ahead. So we are going to be browning them from one side to another not fully brown as in brown stew but we want them to get a little color whilst we wait on this to cool out a bit and also i'll be putting probably a few pieces of ice to get it cooled down because you know you can put it in the blender too hot so this will give us some additional liquid because this is what we're gonna use for the soup so these few pieces of ice We'll bring it to temperature, but I can put it in the blender as soon as all these are dissolved. All this liquid will be needed to make the soup. So whilst that is taking color, I will just try to dissolve these. When I'm blending them, you'll see that and you see those pretty color. And when the carrot is blended in with the pumpkin, we have a nice color. Next clip. So I'm putting in some of this. I'm gonna do it in about two batches. I remember I cooked it with garlic, so I'm gonna be blending with the garlic and everybody in there. Okay. So just to show you, wait have a look right. I'm just gonna puree it out. So this is our chicken farm and you know we have removed the skins so, so that is fine for us i'm gonna be adding this pumpkin and carrot and i'm gonna get my flame up high yeah that's what i'll be doing right here this is a different way of making some chicken soup eh? i don't know how anybody has ever tried it this way yes i'm gonna empty all of it and as i go I know my meat, look at that, my chicken, they'll be able to move around right now. All right? Beautiful, Dad. It's rich and look good. What do you think about that, Dad? Yeah, man. Talk to rich, me. Rich, rich, corns. Rich. We're going to put our corns right in right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Talk to me, Dad. Talk to me. Tell me. Yes. This is a beautiful, beautiful. With the puree of the carrot and the pumpkin. We're going to leave it right in here. We're going to leave back little, you know, we're not going to put in everything. Because I told you I'll make a decision on whether I'm going to be using the potatoes or the dumplings. I have made the decision and I've gone ahead and I have made me some dumplings. Mm? I'm using pure flour with a little butter in there. And this is how soft my dough is. This is it, soft. We don't want a lot of food, so... Let's get it come to a boil and then when I'm ready to put my dumplings in, I return. Yes, this is chicken soup done another way. You see, you get a little brown color on the chicken and the color of the pumpkin. You see, so you don't have that all white chicken to turn with. Yeah, you see it? Yeah, man. Nice. My soon come. So I think it's relatively hot. We can have our dumplings right now. And of course, I'll be making our Jamaican little soup dumplings. So I'm going to say pinas, 
spinners my mother say it pinners they are not so tall the pinners are not supposed to be so tall the pinners would be something like this that's what my mother used to put in the stew piece with the two little pointed ends but i'm gonna make mine a little bigger see it's coming to a boil so i'm gonna make mine like this you just pinch off a little piece of dough and you just roll hmm? yeah coolest richest pumpkin and chicken soup you will ever make in your life not too much food i don't want it too full i just want this richness this smoothness of a soup and a piece of chicken two pieces of corn and a little dumpling and that's good enough for me i'll catch you back so my little dumplings my little soup dumplings are in our uh, family is so the richness of the carrot and the pumpkin together yep now i have me in some of our jamaican noodle soup mixer so i'm not gonna put all in this and wow why did up there ramp on for mm -hmm. this soup dad mm -hmm. yeah so we're gonna put that in there we're not going to put any more come by this thing yeah it's salty so right here i have some green thyme very important not dry thyme and i have a green pepper putting them in there i have some scallions here and i'm gonna like some people might don't like the knife catching against the plate but look here when you find that happening it bother you you need to drink some sea mass the nerves are go right there mm, yeah. yeah when you find that is happening to you and it affects you your nerves is sometimes it affects me too but that is when you know your nerves really need some look at extra boosting so when you find that these things are you know like this little thing you know right by your nerves you hear okay so we just have a kind of flag it out a bit oh yeah go we'll get it all cut okay, so we're gonna leave this thing to slow cook down come in every now and then to check on it all right all in scale and time and all of them something there mm. look at that mm? yeah we're gonna leave it to slow cook so we have a little bit to leave here and if needs be we'll add a little hot water so what we can do right here so we can put our next little full to bring it up that's how we wanted it we're gonna leave it to slow cook make sure our pot bottom is not catching and basically i'll put some more fresh garlic as it come towards the end of the cooking process and basically that's it i want nothing more okay and i don't think i want added salt we're gonna leave it on a medium heat to slow cook coming every now and then to make sure it's not sticking okay so let's cover it look at the beauty look at the beauty tell me what you know about that so my additional garlic fresh garlic in so family do not cook it at too much of a high pace this pumpkin and this carrot blended together it's like when you make juice you know it has a strong it powerful it's strong so you see it look at it this is how it looks this is a liquid so it froths you know pumpkin and then sit in the frat you know carrot and frat but pumpkin so you're gonna cook it you come along so me have to get my spoon you know you find some me have to get my spoon so look at the chicken look at the chicken piece so you know you never want your chicken too white oh tonight you see that so you're gonna let it cook come in every now and then to scrape around right here at this point you should have enough salt to taste you don't want to put no powdered seasonings in these and you don't want to put nothing more than just your nice herbs them hmm? which is your scallions green scallions lots of it thyme green thyme that is like green pepper look at it bubbling away this is the pace at which you must cook it at and as i i'm gonna repeat myself you come every now and then you can if you would love to put a little piece of butter when it's nearer down to the end so when you see me next this all pot of goodness with these two little piece of chicken ties and this corn you know i didn't want to put nothing more in it i didn't want to put a lot of food i didn't want to and i just had two chicken ties and this is the pot of soup that it would give to me you know so remember you come every now and then stirring and as it cooks slow cooks it might just recede and you have a little there you can add it look at it look at the power of this pumpkin 
and chicken soup that all you like it so everything is in for me now everything is in for me and i have my chicken noodle mix look at that hook it at this space i'll catch you when this is ready all done and i'm just about to turn my flame off look at your chicken all cooked pulling away from the bones your corn look at the pepper look at the pepper it's not burst look at the scallions the time wow look at the time there is no leaf dad mm -hmm. on the sprig look at it turn my flame off this is no ordinary soup this is to fill your soul look at this these are our little dumplings let's tear from the bottom i'm gonna let it settle and when you see me next i have a plate of this goodness just for you this is next almost but i think the split peas soup which one you think more powerful dad uh -huh. split peas oh split dad peas. enjoyed that mm -hmm. soup look at it we didn't want a lot of food look at this this is the power we didn't add any extra water and as you cook the froth that comes to the top it recedes as you stir you notice when we started we had the froth there this is some good old good old soul chicken soup to warm your body in this cold weather put your twist to it add what you want to add to it yeah in the next clip i'll have some all plated just for you From my kitchen to yours, from my Jamaican kitchen to your family table, to your palate, and most of all to your stomach, it is chicken, pumpkin, and carrot soup done just for you. Please do enjoy. Now, if you have liked this video, remember to give it a thumbs up. Remember to make sure that you're subscribed. Subscribe the man, click the notification bell, press the option that says all. Oh, don't try to be in the league. Of those that saying I'm not getting notified because they are not pressing the option that says all thanks for the love thanks for the support shout out to all the silent watchers out there who watches thumbs up but they never ever come in thank you thank you all so much remember to be you do you make you some of this comfort chicken soup